the news back in August of uh, 2005, and they were going on about, no, it wasn't August, it was July in 2005, and they were, that's when they had the underground bombings in London, and they kept on mentioning Islam and Muslims, and I was like, what's a what's a Muslim what's Islam and so I went onto the internet and did some research and I really like what I what I read you know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also I read some excerpts from the Quran and I, I really loved what I was reading and um, before that you know I felt like really empty like I had this big void that needed to be filled and um, when I did my, as I was doing my research on Islam, I, I started to feel that emptiness being filled up. And um, yeah, and I believe it's the best decision that I've ever made is uh, doing my Shahada the next month in August of the 2nd uh, at 7.30pm. Um, yeah, that's when I made my Shahada. And then, of course, my um, Taku, Taku Kofiro, um was only seven years old back then. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so yeah, you want to say something? Yeah, I was only a little kid, so I don't know what my life was like before Islam. Like, I just remember how I am now as a Muslim. There were, there are differently, um, differently, definitely stages that I've gone through with Islam. And, you know, being weak and being strong in some points in my life when it comes to my religion. But um, I'm definitely a lot stronger now than I think I was when I was a bit younger. And when I first started with Islam, I was really strong because I really wanted to follow in my mom's footsteps. And then as I entered my adolescence, I was, you know, really rebellious. And I was like, I'm going to do what I want to do, how I want to do it. And, you know, wanted to find Islam and my religion on my own terms. And now that I'm an adult and I'm in university, I definitely realize how important my religion is and how, how much it's there to guide me and look after me and yeah, so like I'm, I'm, I, I did have stages in Islam, but I'm at my strongest now, and I think I'll continue being this strong with my dean. Okay, so mom's we, like, <laughs> already, next question. <laughs> we've already covered why did you convert, and what do you like about Islam? What do you love about Islam? Okay, what do I love about Islam? Oh, this is so I could make a long list. As long as my ringer ringer. We have like five minutes now. <laughs> yeah. Do we have like a whole week? No. But um, of course, I love that it's just like this um, United Nations with everybody um, following Islam. You know, from every pocket of the world, you'll find someone who who is a Muslim. And um, yeah, I, I just love how Islam has like spread globally, internationally, so that's what I really love about the sun, of course, mm. you know, I, I love Allah. Yeah, what about you? Okay, what do I love about Islam? I love that it's a peaceful religion. Most people, you know, from what they hear on the media, are like, no, it's not, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about, because you, get, you only get your knowledge from, you know, social media and, like, people who are on social media platforms but I know my religion so well and I know that it doesn't preach hate like that and it preaches peace purely and that's what I love and I love that even though I love the things that people would normally not like about a religion like I love that we as women are meant to cover and you know there were times when I was kind of like no, I'm like free, I'm allowed to be me, but now I'm like, it is what's best for me, and Allah did put it out there for me to, to be able to protect myself, and 
not just and when people do ask me like why do you cover I'm like it's not just for you know physical protection and you know protection from men like abuse or anything like that it's to protect me from difficulties that are in life that are only put on women you know when it comes to beauty and you know what your role is as a woman in society so I don't know how I got to this stage <laughs> right now but that's what I love about this one mm. it was covering and praying and yeah, there's just so much, eh? There's yeah. so much to love about Islam. Definitely. But we haven't got the time with really, yeah. yeah. No political. But Allah, Allah knows. Allah knows. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And what was the next one? Uh, how was it? How has it improved you as a person? Oh, yeah, of course. It's like dramatic changes in my life when um, before I became a Muslim, I was drinking and smoking and partying and the rest of it and um, yeah after I made my shahada I just felt like a totally different person uh, was uh, I started cooking right oh my gosh cooking yes. meals. <laughs> yeah we always had takeouts before then yeah and um, uh, of course you know my my sons noticed um, how much of a her mother I had become after I, I um, reverted to Islam um, yeah they just noticed like this big change in me you know positive changes and um, um, yeah that's that's really how Islam has changed me as a person what about you what are you doing looking at your cell phone <laughs> you know I need to keep up with my social media um, how has it improved me I think Islam approved me in a lot of ways where I'm actually quite a controversial person and I <laughs> like if somebody said anything negative to me I was gonna be like you know what I'm gonna fight you let's go and I'm still like that in some ways but there are times now when I'm I'm put into really awkward situations where I would usually be like honey let me straighten you out right now but now I think more about how I make my religion look and because of the way that it's depicted, I don't want to make it look like that and I don't want people to have this perception of my religion because of the way I act out. So now I'm really like calm and I'm really zen and I, yeah, so I, I've changed quite a lot in that way when it comes to my attitude. And it's improved me also with um, just like purely like my dean, like how I treat people and how I think about putting kindness first and making sure that nobody's ever left feeling, you know, below anybody else and that I always make people feel it the best that they can feel. That's how my religion's improved me. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it says over here, does your family like your changes? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you know, of course, they, being Polynesian, um, you know, I, we're really tight as a family, as a, as a whānau, as a ainga. Um, uh, but, you know, initially, they found it really quite hard to understand. You know, I, I wouldn't shake hands with them. Um, with me, even my own um, male cousins, um, and, and of course, you know, I wouldn't attend parties like celebrations like I, I did before I became a Muslim. And um, so, yeah, they, it wasn't that they didn't like my religion; it's just that they didn't understand what Islam was all about. And as the years went by, um, and they saw, you know, how I behaved and and I would explain things to them about how we are supposed to be as females and, and our religion and our deen. Uh, they became more um, understanding, like more aware. And of course, um, coupled with that comes the understanding. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> bringing out the Polynesian in me. Okay, that looks stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, my. You, my yeah, my, my family's mum's family, so they're they're really accepting now. And 
really they've always actually been accepting of of our religion and the people that we are um yeah i'm really blessed because i have a great family who are all christian yeah who yeah. are well they? yeah mm. Well, most of them are. Yeah, Christian, well, atheist, whatever. Who's an atheist? An atheist when they don't believe in God. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there's... Oh, okay. Then. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let's just move on. As a Māori Muslim, what are the challenges you have faced? It's just a Māori Muslim here. Yeah. Oh, I was like, you go first. <laughs> um, it's quite odd because I kind of, sh- like, had shunned out my... Maori side because and I, I didn't really want to associate myself with being Maori because I felt at a younger age it was like majority Maori who weren't accepting of me being Muslim and I went to an all Maori school that wasn't really supportive of me like my teachers some of my teachers were great and some of my peers were great but there were always those ones that kind of made you feel uncomfortable and that made you think differently about everybody else. So being Māori and Muslim was kind of a challenge for me. And I honestly at time was given at times was given the option like, oh you can't be both. You can't be both Māori and you can't be Muslim. And I was kinda of like, oh that's sad. Because I feel like I would rock being both. So I decided, like, I love my religion and I would rather be Muslim. By having that void of pushing out my Māori side, because I speak fluent Te Reo Māori and I know my iwi and I know everything, but pushing out being Māori to be Muslim was, was a mistake for me. Like, I... I felt like I should have just been like, you know what, this is me. I'm going to be both Māori and be Muslim and keep up my Māori tongue. But I didn't. So that was a challenge for me for like the yeah, majority well, of my life. That's because you got bullied. Yeah, yeah. But you got bullied at school. Oh, mum. I'm your darling man. But um, yeah, that's that was the challenge for me. And now that I'm older, I'm like unapologetically me. I'm like, I'm Māori and I'm proud and I'm Muslim and I'm proud and this is just the way that I am. Mm. You take me in all my forms and my colours. It's just like with me being um, Samoan Muslim, you know, and, and I get a lot of, especially children, who are saying, oh, are you, are you half Muslim and, and half Samoan? <laughs> I get that from adults, believe it or not. They're like, are you Arab? But it's really cute coming from children. Anyway, it says over here, how do you feel about wearing the hijab? Oh, this is this is my identity. You know? This is um, this is who I am, and I love wearing the hijab. But I don't feel oppressed at all. Started wearing the hijab um, the day after my shahada, and um, yeah, just love wearing it out in public because you know it's it's for me. It, it says to everybody, this is I'm a Muslim. And I'm really proud of who I am. I'm really proud of my religion. Um, I'm obedient to Allah. And if you don't don't like it, too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for me, how do you feel about wearing hijab? Um, like I said, I had my ups and downs when it came to covering, and you know, I, I had my times where I was bullied, and I kind of, I kind of didn't see the point. And, and I was I was really young at the time. I think I was only like 13 when I started getting, when I got bullied really badly. Um, but now that I'm older, I couldn't see myself not wearing my scarf. Like my hijab is the biggest part of me. It's like, it's what separates me from any other woman, you know? The kupa. Yeah, the, the kupa. But like... That this is what I this is how I identify myself as a hijabi and and I love that my scarf is a way that I protect myself and I don't feel oppressed. I get this question all the time. Are you oppressed? Yeah. Because you're wearing that. Well, do you get forced to wear that? Yeah. Does your husband force you? Everybody and I'm like one. I'm not married, so you can take that back. But it's 
it's not oppression. This is, I wear this because it's my choice and I wear it because I love my God. And I love the person that he's molded me into being. And it's like a really strong woman who loves her hijab just as much as she loves her Gucci pants or whatever. I don't know. Okay. And the last question, what does Islam mean to you? I haven't got my glasses what on. What does Islam mean to you? It, of course, it means submission to the will of Allah. That's what it means to me. You know, um, Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um commands me to do it it I try it's what I try to do I'm not perfect um I have I admit um fallen a few times with my journey um through uh the dean um but not in a bad way eh? in a bad way no not in a bad way but you know what I'm trying to say is that that we're we're all not perfect we want to be. I tried to be. I tried to do everything by the book. But, you know, there were those times when, um, yeah, uh, Shaitan is always there. Mm-hmm. Always there to try and lead you astray. Um, oh, just as long as you as you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and don't do it again. Yeah, inshallah. Um, on the day of judgment, when we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all our, all our sins will be forgiven. And inshallah, we will all make it to, to Jannah, inshallah. Mm. Okay, what does Islam mean to me? Um, Islam it's means... Cell phone. It's my, my phone is like going off. Yes. No. Um, Islam means to me caring about something more than I myself, you know? I, I've learned to love so much because of Islam. I've learned to love the fact that I cover for my own sake. I learned, I've learned to love everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me, like my family and my friends and, you know, just the beautiful things that I often sometimes take advantage of. But that's what Islam means to me. It's caring about more things than yeah, just more myself. more than yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and my mommy, I love my mommy. <laughs> but yeah, my my BFF. Is that what you say? BFF. <laughs> Is that BFF? <laughs> yeah, it's BFF. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what what I what I'd do without my, without her, and um, and of course I I I think that she feels the same way about me. <laughs> but oh, uh, hey. <laughs> so yeah that's that's my journey um to the dean and and of course it's still continuing and um and 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 subhanallah um my uh, daughter is still with the dean as well mm-hmm. and i was like really worried because i thought oh yeah here comes the teenage years and she's just gonna but no alhamdulillah Still Muslim and I'm still growing strong. Masha'Allah, yes. Masha'Allah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's us. Yeah. So uh, far, so we fought. So far, so we fought. Yeah. Uh, Kakite, Ano. Kakite. Mm-hmm. Kakite. Ano. Is it Kaito? Yeah. Kaito Katoa. Yeah. Aye. Okay. Yeah. Bye.